All right, let's get something straight. That's cold. Yeah, what we yeah, had true. today was pleasant, <laughs> nice. and we would like more pleasant weather tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can you do that, Cindy? You want another one? Okay. All right. That uh, was easy. Relent. Oh, yeah. We'll give you another one tomorrow. But then, uh, no, no more <laughs> of that. I'm going to cut that down. Uh, chilly again tomorrow morning. Now, it's going to be dependent upon the cloud cover. We've got clouds streaming in across South Florida from the Gulf of Mexico. If these clouds stay put, our temperatures might not be quite as chilly. But at this point, thinking in the lower 60s for Miami could be some 50s in the interior areas dry for now as well. This air mass is very dry that's sitting over South Florida and heat and humidity. Well, they're coming back again. And by the time we get to the weekend, you won't even remember this cool weather. So that cool, dry air trying to come down from the north. This is for tomorrow. And look at this nice, cool air settling into Broward County and getting into Miami Dade. You get further south and it doesn't quite make it. So really enjoy it. If we get down to 61 degrees tomorrow, that will drop below our coolest of the season so far. That was in October, October 17th. It was 63 degrees. So we're hoping to get that chilly. At least our modeling, our um, is indicating at this point there are going to be some spots in the mid 50s. Again, we're going to see the clouds make a difference. You get closer to the coast, the beaches, temperatures are a little bit warmer in the 60s, lower 60s. We should have 60 in Cutler Bay, but Country Walk, you could drop to 57 degrees. You get down in the Keys, temperatures are much warmer down there. Water temperatures are still in the upper 70s. So that will be the end. Even Thursday morning will still drop into the mid 60s, which is still below average, but by Friday, uh, we're back into the stuff that we're so used to here across South Florida. The humidity comes back. Temperatures will be back into the mid 80s again, so enjoy it while it lasts. High pressure has been sending us that nice cool air, that northerly flow. See how that changes as the high moves east. Winds will turn to a southeasterly direction, and that's why it's going to warm up again, and we're going to start to see a little bit more moisture getting in here, so that's something to keep in mind as well. So here's your forecast. We're looking at Wednesday. Uh, dry 77 degrees. That's what our forecast, our current, our temperature was today. So 77 degrees is not bad at all. By Thursday, we start climbing to 81. Friday, back to 83. And notice, rain chances are low. There could be a spotty shower. If anything at all, it will happen along the coastal areas as those winds back, turn back to an east-southeasterly direction. And then we see the next cold front. That gets in here on Monday. So we're going to bump up that rain chance slightly on Monday. Look at these highs again. 85 degrees, well above average for this time of the year. So enjoy the cool, dry air while we have it.